Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Monday, 21 November. First little snow last night at 1,200 meters here in Switzerland. Been having a very, very, very mild autumn, but uh, first little sprinkling of snow has arrived, which gives us all hope uh, for what we're we're all looking forward to uh, hopefully a bumper <laughs> ski season uh, this year. Let's see. Uh, in the markets, equities are, are lower, rates are unchanged, dollars a little bit higher. Very, very quiet opening to the week. Um, let's look at ES here. It's just dicking around up here near 4,000. Um, we still like to fade at 4080. 200 day comes in at 4064 now. We haven't seen this guy since, uh, let's see, since April, right? Been below the 200 day since April. Mm -hmm. um, in a very simplified way, the 200 day is your bull bear line, right? Below the 200 day is usually bearish. Above the 200 day, you start to think about being bullish. So. Um, here we are, we, we last crossed it at 4,500, so if you're a systematic and you sold it up here and then you're rebuying it here, it's, it's all right, right? This is one of the metrics that most long-term CTAs use. Uh, anyway, I digress much further away in, in NASDAQ. Uh, as most of you know, I don't trade NASDAQ much. I don't know why, I guess it's just old school, just old boomer, fuck, wait, whatever, I understand the old-fashioned companies and balance sheets of old-fashioned companies more than I understand uh, technology companies, so this is why I stick with S&Ps, crude, bounce around here at the bottom, um, looks pretty bearish, but could easily just bounce here, right, I don't, I don't think we're going to see this thing below 76.50, if we do, um, then it's going to be something to watch, right? But this is good for uh, lower inflation. This is good for people's pocketbooks going into Christmas. So not a bad thing. Uh, crude at 80. Still too high, but uh, it's at 80. Rates, again, not doing too much. Uh, we saw the low 68. Um, I think we said I don't think it's going to get below 350. <laughs> We're not trading tens right now, um, but here we are, just bouncing around. This is, you know, should see some some resistance at 88. So let's just call this 68.88 this week. And anywhere in, outside of that, um, we got to take another look at it. Here's our pal Aussie. Nothing going on in Aussie tomorrow. We do have low speaking tomorrow. Our BA is low speaking tomorrow. Uh, I think I believe that's um, in the morning. European time, 8 a.m., so watch out for that. Today, we don't see much. It's just going to be kind of a quiet, rangy day. Dollar CAD the same. We like selling Dollar CAD up towards 135. Um, last week, we got paid owning CAD against the crosses. CAD Swiss first paid us, and then CAD Euro CAD paid us uh, late Friday as that got overextended. Um, up at 138.70. Uh, so that's been good to us. We're going to stick with that theme. Buying CAD on weakness. The market seems to have long CAD already based on price action. And long CAD has suffered a little bit because of the oil price. But we do like buying CAD on weakness here. Euro, uh, really no interest in this today. Now we're really kind of getting towards the meaty middle part of this range. I guess you can expect this thing to pop through 75 at um, 7 a.m. London time. So right now it's 634. 26 minutes you'll see the systems um, switch on and they're going to sell euros here at the open. Eurocad like we said um, 74 was the high at the fix uh, on Friday. Now we're 100 points lower. Don't want to chase this now. This is not something we're looking to chase. 
you could put a little double top up there and, and uh, I guess 82 is a neckline if you're still short from Friday God bless you mm -hmm. um, we squared up at 09 so now I'm a little bit remiss I don't know why I didn't just hold a portion of that um, but whatever just grabbing P&L right building mm -hmm. Building a PL book um, as I get back into FX trading. Uh, it's just a conservative, safe way to do things. Cable, again, middle of the range. This could go anywhere. Dollar yen. Dollar yen's probably um, going to just edge higher uh, just because there's a lot of shorts in dollar yen now and there's some pain to be had there. Dollar Swiss still overextended, also will edge higher, but definitely not worth trading today. Kiwi, is that a double top? I don't know. Is this your neckline? It's too far away. Move on. Euro Swiss, we don't even care. Aussie yen, middle of the range. Euro sterling, um, you know, <laughs> we scratched a few pips. It was like literally the worst momentum. It, you know, this thing went at the fix as well through 90. So it was 89 given. 80 offered but then went back to the figure and then closed at what 76 uh core short friday paid what it was what i would call is a painful pay right you know you really had to juggle that thing you had to trade for an average um so we were in and out of it we were looking great with a great average and then we oversold the lows and then we scratched it and we sold again and one of those type of deals uh, so there's nothing really to do here there's no key technical levels there's no key real flow levels 8690 is meaningless our, our uh, famous five star you know all of these daily lows turned out to be just a pocket of pocket of shit um, but no harm, right? So you just got to move on. Euro yen, not really much going on. Sterling yen, again, middle of the range. We don't care. Here's our friend, the Rand. I wonder if Ann Rand traded the Rand. 754. I don't really see anything to do there either. Euro Aussie. Again, nothing, nothing to do. Let's let's have a look at this um, tomorrow morning when Lowe is speaking. Uh, this, I have a feeling this can head um, a fair bit higher. Swiss yen. CAD Swiss. I mean, CAD Swiss back down at 70.50. We'll take a sniff at this at 71.24. We don't care. So is this thing going to drop 1% today? No, it's not. Norway taking a little bit of a beating here, getting a little bit overbought up here. Um, this is certainly, I think, a fade at 1060. Um, so if you want to play around with Euro Norway today, 1060 looks like a good, good little fade. Cad yen, nothing. Kiwi yen, as you can imagine, nothing. Dollar Mex probably gonna hit ease a little bit higher and gold are we gonna get are we gonna get down to this uh, purchase area 70 30 17 30 mm. I don't know uh, we're not trading much gold crypto on its uh, on the back foot here just the volume and interest in crypto has just been crippled with this FTX news um, so now we're just waiting you know either for one big capitulation move mm. or we're waiting for it to just bounce around at the bottom for weeks and then everyone's going to forget about it and then we may have a sneaky move um, back higher but the the FTX avalanche of you know disease is um, still in play right Genesis is about to go bankrupt um, there's a couple of uh, a couple of blockchain <coughs> gaming companies that are also totally fucked now like you know six months of runway because FTX has gone down you know that was their sort of you know they were sort of FTX was the money honey for a lot of these startups so there's more blood 
and to be spilled on the streets. Uh, let's just see, see what happens here. <laughs> Not trading crypto. We do own some Ethereum. We do own a little bit of Matic. Nothing dramatic. Um, and we'll just have to see where this goes. So as you can see, not much to do today. We're going to be watching dollar CAD high 134s. Um, may look at this Euro Norway as well, up at 1060. Otherwise, it looks like a patience day. So stay cool, uh, stay in school. Don't act like a trading fool. Um, let's see how things go. On the, on the on the release side, there's nothing nothing coming out today. Literally nothing nothing important. Um, in the U.S., pfft, nothing. You got uh, you got Cunliffe uh, from the MPC speaking uh, this morning. Literally no no releases, no financial releases in the U.S. So you know we're watching rates. We'll watch crude. We'll watch equities, and we'll see we'll see what the cards say. But it looks like it's going to be. Uh, either no trades today or, or maybe one or two um, trades in the commodity sector, CAD or Norwegian Krone. Mm -hmm. That's all I got for you. Good luck today, people. Try and make some dough or try and just not trade, right? That's like a, what a professional would do on a day like today is actually sit back, re read a bit, write in your journal, um, you know, go fuck your wife. Whatever whatever you need to do today is probably, today is probably the day you need to do that. Anyway, cool. Good luck out there, peeps. Ciao.